Ciao everybody, Katerina here. Welcome to my kitchen. Well, in a couple of weeks, my dear friend Mariah, her son Alexander, will be tying the knot with Caroline. And Mariah is going to be hosting the rehearsal dinner and she asked me if I would bake. Of course! And one cookie that I'm going to be preparing today is the Italian Pignole Biscotti, which essentially is a pine nut cookie, usually served for special occasions. It is made with almond paste, and almond is very important in the Italian culture because it's considered a sign of fertility. And of course, we want Alexander and Caroline to have lots of children. Keep Mariah very busy. Now, let's get started. So these are pine nuts. Um, you can freeze them and um, they are a little bit expensive but for a special occasion once in a while why not you're going to need your food processor for this recipe here i have a quarter cup of flour all-purpose flour okay, to the flour i'm going to add a quarter cup of pine nuts and the reason why i add the flour is because i don't want to end up with butter okay i'm just going to pulse this together perfect here I have seven ounces of almond paste. I'm just going to drop it into the food processor. Whenever I have almond paste in my hands, I can hear church bells ringing. Now that the um, almond paste is inside, I'm going to pulse it until it's granular. I have three quarter cup of granulated sugar. Now I'm going to uh, pulse everything until it's nice and crumbly. To two egg whites, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of clear vanilla extract, plus one quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna give this a nice mix and I'm going to add it to my dry mixture. And I'm just going to pulse it all together and I'm going to wait for everything to come together. There, you see how the dough collected? You know it's ready. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And now we're going to start um, assembling our cookies. With this recipe, the scooper is the best thing. This is a one teaspoon scooper. I, because it is very sticky. This is a really sticky dough. Now I'm just going to place it inside the pine nuts. I'm going to push the pine, the pine nuts around the cookie. This way you can pick it up, see? And I'm going to keep them about two, two inches apart, maybe even more because they will expand when, when baked. So one teaspoon, drop it into the pine nuts roll the pine nuts around the cookie and it almost makes like a little barrier so you can pick it pick it up and down so in my oven they're going to go now you know your oven i'm going to watch them i'm going to leave them in for about 16 to 20 minutes when they're golden brown you know they're ready okay so my cookies took about 13 minutes to bake you know your oven you watch them and now I put them on a cooling rack and I'm going to let them cool for approximately 45 minutes. My Italian Pignole Biscotti are ready for next week's rehearsal dinner for Mariah's son Alexander and Caroline. I have four more batches to go because I want them to have uh, plenty to last until Saturday and I'm going to taste one for you. Mm. good crunchy on the outside chewy on the inside you can taste the almond paste the pine nuts delicious absolutely delicious a wonderful festive cookie for your next occasion i want to thank you so much for joining me today it's katerina from my home to yours don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't already done so subscribe to my channel ciao